Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Coco Bear, or Coco actually, I don't know why I call it Coco Bear. I'm just so excited for you guys to be introduced to some of my lovely rice friends. They are this amazing, amazing, talented, intelligent, kind people. And I really hope you guys enjoy what they have to say. This video is only part one of a two part series, so please keep a lookout for part two. My name is Annie and I'm a sophomore majoring in civil and environmental engineering and I am from Will Rice College! Don't you be listening to Stephanie when she says that Weiss is the best college and darling, don't you try to cut this out! Hi, my name is Corey Talbert and I am class of 2023, uh, also known as a rising sophomore right now. And I go to Weiss College, Team Weiss baby, and I am a computer science major with a minor in CAM, potentially. My name is Brian Sanchez. I'm going to be a junior at Lovett College. I am a statistics and sport management uh, major and minoring in business. Hi, I'm Karina, and I'm a rising sophomore from Sid Richardson College, majoring in biochemistry and going for a certificate in Spanish. My name is Diego. I am a rising sophomore at Will Rice College, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. Hey guys, I'm Jenny. I'm a sophomore from Hanson and I'm studying CS and maybe SWIGS, which is the study of women, gender, and sexuality. Hi, I'm Abby Dows. I'm a rising sophomore at Lovett College and I am majoring in bioengineering with a minor in global health technologies. Hi guys, my name is Zach Murphy. Um, I am going to be a senior at Lovett College. Um, and I am a neuroscience and biochemistry and uh, cell biology double major and possibly a minor in history, maybe. Hi, everyone. I'm Vinay Tamarakota. I'm a rising sophomore at Hanson College, majoring in computer science. The people. I have to say, I was a little terrified when I showed up on campus and everyone just had this whimsy to them. And I was like, what? What? Did I find my people? That's, that's crazy. Um, but I think I did. The, the overall environment is very, very nice. First of all, there's like a lot of really challenging or pushing classes that are interesting. There's a lot of options there. And there's also a lot of other people who are in there like struggling with you or motivating you and other people who are also inspired to do stuff. Like everyone really cares on the campus. The first one is just like the people. Rice just has like this way of like bringing together like the best people. No matter like what college you're at, you're going to find like your group of people that you um, vibe with and that you bond with. And that really starts because of the residential college system. The residential college system just it's such a natural way of like being able to make friends and like it's truly like the best support system. What I love about Rice is the residential college system and how from the second that you step onto campus for a week, you're just welcomed by so many advisors and other new students of your college that you'll spend the next four years with. So I feel like my college is my family and support system since I attend events, eat, and study with them most of the time. I guess how small it is. At first, that was a bit of like a turnoff when I was looking into schools, but then I actually visited. I, I realized there are so many benefits to having a small university. I personally really like it because I'm able to constantly see people that I know. I've never felt like, I guess, alone. It feels like a little town in a sense. I really like how Rice is very undergraduate focused. You know, in terms of getting the classes that you want to get, um, in terms of switching majors, exploring, just a lot of the professors are really dedicated toward not only their field that they're in, but to teaching and to really like helping you grow. People tend to be more down to earth. For example, they aren't really defined by their major or what they're studying. I think it's really great that people do like invest a lot of time to like their other passions as well. The community and the people are my favorite things um, about Rice. Everybody I've met has just been so supportive and so genuinely nice. Like the people I've met at Rice have been like the nicest people I've ever met. Um, and everyone's just really unique individuals and really talented and have their own unique passions, which I think is really cool. That they do a really, really good job of introducing people to like rice culture and also just like college in general. I came from Chicago and like didn't know anybody in Texas and was like nervous about that but like 
like with the residential college system and then also a week they do a really good job of like not just like throwing you into the fire but gradually like bringing you into like the culture and like allowing you to make friends and like well and like preparing you academically too probably the academic flexibility I came into Rice majoring in computer science, and I still am, but I have a lot of interest in political science, current events, and philosophy, and I found that Rice has amazing classes in both computer science and in the classes of my political interest. Honestly, I'm still not really sure about my major, but <laughs> right now my reasoning is that I do want to work in sustainability and you know, help us solve some of the really big problems that we have that are preventing us from living well on this planet. I've always known I liked coding, and I think computer science, you really have to enjoy coding if you want to get through it all, or, and math. Math is very integral to computer science. So I started off as a comp sci major, but quickly I kind of found out that it wasn't exactly like what I expected it to be. My second semester, I took like a moment to just kind of take a breath of classes. After I took that stat course, I was like, I could probably like, I could see myself going into it. I've always loved sports and then combined with like analytics and stat, um, I thought it was a good combo. I've always loved biology and science since high school. And I feel that the required courses would best prepare me for medical school and provide me with research opportunities. And if I decide not to be a pre-med, which I'm still unsure about, I wouldn't have too much trouble finding other jobs with a biochem degree. Well, I was always inclined to choose engineering. I wasn't completely sure what kind, but I figured that mechanical would be the best approach in terms of being like versatile within engineering and having a lot of opportunities. So I kind of went into CS like, eh, I'll give it a shot, but I actually ended up really liking um, the first course I took. I really like the problem solving aspect of it. For SWIGS, I just have an interest in the whole like women, gender, sexuality, and also the whole intersectionality aspect. I kind of wanted to take this to the next level, you know, critical thinking, heavy setting, um, where I could like truly push myself to think about topics in which like I'm not like, familiar with. For a long time, I've really liked um, math and science, which kind of led me to be introduced to like the idea of engineering in high school. I took AP biology and I loved it. And I also always really wanted a job where I could help people. Something I thought was really cool about BioE is how you can be designing things that can help like hundreds of thousands potentially of people. In high school, I like I had AP psychology and like just like loved it a lot. Um, and just have like always been fascinated by the brain and just like I took a couple of intro classes um, and like was just like I don't know, I was just fascinated by it. And so I just kind of knew that that's what I wanted to do. So I was like pre-med, then I was pre-grad, kind of switched between those. But I knew that I wanted to do something with neuroscience. I really like the problem solving process that's used in computer science. The rewarding feeling of creating an algorithm that works and is efficient is just something that's really amazing to me. The other reason is that computer science is just really interdisciplinary, which means I have a lot of flexibility moving forward in what kind of field I want to go into. The Escape Room Club at Rice. Totally the best club on campus, don't tell the other clubs. So I joined it in the spring. Unfortunately, we were sent home halfway through and I don't really know how we're gonna do like social distanced escape rooms. It just doesn't sound <laughs> like a doable thing, but hopefully we can whip out something cool. Maybe like a Minecraft escape room. I'm involved with Cloud9, uh, which is the Rice Men Ultimates Frisbee team. Then also Rice Escape, which is basically a club where we build escape rooms and then uh, let people come in and run and do them. It's uh, a lot of fun, really cool. In the fall, I joined uh, the Department of Sport Analytics. I also participated in IM Sports, Ultimate Frisbee, um, basketball and flag football. And I was also a beer bike coordinator this past year. I'm part of the Vietnamese Student Association and I love VSA because it's just a group of people who all share like a common background and every February, our big event, which is Lunar New Year, we'll have a festival and we combine with other Asian student organizations. And there are dances, there's food, there's music. There's, it's just so much fun. I'm a part of SHIP. It's the Society of Hispanic Professional Juniors. It's a really strong career development organization. I was the philanthropy chair, so I worked closely with other members to try to organize events and reach out to the community and do a lot of fun stuff. 
I'm in CCF, which Steph is also a part of. It stands for Cornerstone Christian Fellowship. I'm also in Rice apps. We make apps um, like mobile and web apps for Rice and the surrounding Houston community. And I'm also in Siestas, like sisters, which is like women in CS. I'm part of like the Love It government, so CC. I'm on the outreach, outreach committee for that. I'm on the Love It Powder Puff team which was a ton of fun. Um, so different from anything I'd done before. I also was a member of Rice Bioe Society and a club called Blueprints for Pangea. I am involved with a student admission council. It was a really good way to like share my experiences at Rice and like be honest with the prospective students. I'm also like president of Rice Rally Club, which is the basically the sports or student section, organizing the giveaways of games, like getting fans out to games and like kind of like fostering like that student athlete student like connection. So I'm involved with the Rice Philharmonics, which is a co-ed acapella group at Rice. And we also just released a new album called Philos on Spotify, which you should totally check out. I'm also part of Rice Data Science Club, and I have my own political YouTube channel called Unboxing Politics, which you should also check out. I love the food there! I went vegetarian when I got on campus, and Siebel has this vegetarian line, but it's not even a line because there's no line there. You just walk up and you get the food, and everyone else that's like eating their meat is standing in line. It's great. It's great. The serveries aren't great. For me, I'm, I'm a really picky eater, um, so I just ended up eating safety chicken every day, and it's called safety chicken. Don't let anyone else fool you into telling you it's athlete chicken or water chicken. It's safety chicken. And also, Seabell on Saturdays, I, I mean, I don't really need to talk about it, but it's, it's bad. I would probably say 8.5 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. Uh, honestly, the food is, is pretty good. I'd rate Rice's food like a 6 or a 7, because they really have a lot of variation throughout the week. Like, they'll have Asian food, Indian food, Mediterranean food, Hispanic food, uh, American food. Just a lot of options. And even if you don't like what the main dish is, then there's always alternatives like the salad bar or the sandwich station or cereal. I have no complaints. I really enjoyed the food. I'm used to spicier food and having like more, more seasoned food, I guess. But for the most part, I can't really complain about anything. You know, once in a while you get tired of food. But I mean, that happens at home, at least in my home. <laughs> and then even if you have different dietary needs, rice does a really good job at addressing those. I say rice's food is like, on average, pretty good. I'd give it around an eight out of 10 um, on weekdays and uh, five out of 10 on weekends. Weekend food is pretty sad. Besides like Sunday brunch, Sunday brunch is pretty good. I really like the food. I thought it was a little underrated. They're like healthy options, less healthy options, lots of options for food restrictions. One biggest caveat, if you travel for food, it's like an eight or a nine out of 10. It's really good. If you don't travel for food and stay at the one servery because there's six different serveries, I would say like it's like closer to like a six or a seven, I'd say. I'm speaking as a vegetarian and I feel like Rice's food has exceeded my expectations. Like. Last year at South Servery, they served boba, like free boba, once a week, which is really cool. On Saturdays, the food wasn't usually as good, but the food during the rest of the week definitely made up for it. So I'd say I was pretty happy with it. Bye. So that's it for a part one video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe, like, and comment, all that good stuff. And we shall see you in my next video. Bye! Bye!